Hi everybody, this is Ellen and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a happy girl. This one has a ponytail and little tank top, pants, belt. I gave her a couple little accessories like bracelets and a little necklace. Those things are extra and you can just kind of use your imagination to be able to put those on. Um, I do have different versions of the happy girl. There's just a lot of different ways that people normally, or that women or girls, um, normally like style their hair or the clothes they wear um, and a lot of the suggestions that I've been getting for having a happy girl is they'd like to have like clothes that are removable so I'll work on some of those um, and then just different body styles like you know um, even if you took like the the happy boy because these bodies are made separately than the head you can make the head you can put it on a different body and so you can kind of mix and match up I mean you could even take like her head and put it on like the Santa Claus body. I mean it's kind of, you'll be able to mix up um, all the different girl parts or girl bodies with the heads once I start having those come out a little bit more. Um, it'll probably be a little bit of a process because there are um, a few of them that I have designed so like if you like her head but you don't necessarily like her body um, there'll be other bodies for you to choose from and then vice versa. There's other heads with different hair things like that so just kind of keep that in mind when you're looking at the tutorials for the happy girls like I said there'll be more than one so but we're gonna do this one today uh, band wise the hair in total was 251 the skin was 192 the shirt is 62 the pants are 76 the belt is 6 and then the shoes are 12 and then the little accessories are just a couple extra bands. And this is extra too, up here, to her little hair thing. There are a few things we need to make ahead of time, like her hair, this little portion right here. And then we actually make this kind of, it's almost like a cap that we put on as we go along in the tutorial. So we make that ahead of time too. And then of course the eyes and the cheeks, the nose, all those things, or not the nose, the eyes and the cheeks and the mouth, all those things too. So we'll get started. So first the eyes, I use 9mm pony beads, they're the standard size pony beads and you can just push through two bands when we get there to the eyes. If you don't have any beads you can use bands, it's two bands, whatever color you want your eye to be on the hook, wrap them around, grab all the bands, wrap them around again and then pull them through two bands that are your skin color. that. So you have two eye bands like this if you don't have the beads. And then the cheeks are made basically the same way. It's just it's only one band instead of two. But whatever color you want the cheek to be on the hook, wrap it around once, grab both bands, wrap them around again, and then pull through two skin color bands. like that. So you have those two cheeks, you have eyes. Now for the hair, we'll make the cap portion first and we'll make that together. Um, but this portion up here with the hair, I'll show you how to make one and then you can make as many as you want. I made five on here and that was what's included in the band count for the tutorial. But say that you have Maybe you want to make a braid out of this, so you want to make have an even six. You just make a few, make more. Or if you don't want as much hair, then you just make less. So it's really kind of up to you how many little pieces of hair you want coming out the back for ponytail. Five on this one. I'm going to do six in the tutorial, just so I can have that even number. But it's up to you. We'll make that after we make this next portion. So first, you're going to want to find some throwaway bands and kind of position them like I am. So you want two that are a color like that and then you'll have four that are the same color like that. And then six that are the same color like that. And then three that are the same color like this. So just kind of want to get those set up like this. Um, these bands you're probably just going to throw them away or throw them back in the 
in your storage when you're done with them. So just get those set up like that. Because these kind of coordinate to where we put them on the loom when we go around, so it makes it a little bit easier. So now we want to do is you're going to take whatever color you want your hair to be, put a band on your hook, wrap it around. And this will be our center point for the hair. I'll kind of show you if I can here. But there's where, right there, is the center point. And then we have all the pieces coming out of it. And then the ponytail actually comes through it from underneath. So, on the hook, like this. Now you're going to pull through five bands. Just pull it through the center, put it back on. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. So like that. Then you grab one of these ones at the top, pull it through, put both ends on, make a slip knot to just tie that off. So like that. And you go back into that center and do another one that's five long. So pull through five bands. One, two, three, four, and five. My cat's in here playing, so and you grab that other band at the top, pull that through, make a slip knot. And you want to find that center again. So these two will kind of stay together when we go around. So when you put on another chain on this, you don't want to like get in between where those two are. So I'm going to work on these two to the side. And these are four long. So take four bands and pull them through that center. So one, two, three, and take one of the next ones down, pull it through, make a slip knot. Just like that. And again, find your center, pull up four, two, three. Four and tie it off. Sounds like that. So it had been before when I said if you put your hook through here and you pull up one in the center of those, we don't want to do that. So it kind of makes more sense now. So now again. We need to pull up the other side, so pull up four more bands. Two, three, and four. Tie it off. Back in, pull up another four, two, three, four, tie it off with the next one. Mine are kind of curling here just because I twisted the bands a little bit when I made it, but Sounds kind of like this. I have the two up at the top, and there's two off to each side, and the next color down. So I'm going to do the next portion kind of the same way, just make sure that these two green, in my case, the two dark greens stay up. So now we're going to come in between here for our next portion down. So 
So my two five long light green ones are on the center and then there's two green ones that are four long on each side. So now basically these next six that we do, they're still going to be four long just like we did before, but they're going to be um, kind of all next to each other as well. So pull up four. Tie it off. And then come back in to your center. Pull up four more. Four. Tie off. And go back into your center again. Pull up four more. And four. Tie it off. Once I'm all done and can lay this out, it'll hopefully be a little bit clearer here. So we want to go in and get these other three. Pull up four. Four. Tie off. This actually saves a lot of bands compared to how I had been doing hair. Back in the center. Pull up four. I think it's kind of neat to have a specific hairstyle. Four. Tie off. And again. Pull up four. And tie off. I can kind of lay this out again here. We have our two long green ones light green ones, then we have the two dark green ones, and then we have these six blue ones, like that. So now when we put our last ones on, these last three, they're still four long, but we want to make sure they're in between the blue section. So three off to each side, and then our next part will go right there in the center. So we'll bring up four One, two, three, and four, and then tie off. And then just bring up the other two that we need right next to that purple one that I just put on. These are four long too. One, two, three, and four, and tie off, and then our last one, back through that center, pull up four. One, two, three, and four, and tie off. So now, I'll look at it here. So 
we have the just kind of always remember which one are your ones that are five long because that'll be kind of the anchor point or the starting point to kind of gear the rest of them so I have the two five ones here and I have the two next two that are my dark green then I have the the six three on each side for the light blue and then the three down here for the purple so you want to make sure that you have that before we move on and then we need to make our long hair pieces ahead of time I've already made five of them so I just need to make one more and those are it's just a single chain with a doubled band here at the beginning and you can make them as long or as short as you want mine are a cat band with 14 bands pulled through so I call them 15 long I guess and you can see how long that comes down on her so it's really up to you if you want it to be a little bit shorter or a little longer you just kind of add how many bands you want but it's just one band on the hook wrap it around grab both bands wrap it around again and then I pulled through 14 more bands to get the length that I want and then I just stored them on my loom until the next part here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13 and 14. So once you have these made, and they're pretty quick to make, but you have to pause the video to make them. So then once you're back and you have them all made, you want to put them all onto your hook. that and then take two bands put them on the end of your hook double them pull through all your hair bands put it back on the hook kind of center it and then pull through two bands just straight through and it should stay on those bands, but if you're worried about it, you can set it onto your loom for later. Just kind of, we use this end towards us, so you can set it up here on the very end until we need it, which is pretty quick once we get going. So, so those are the prep things. Took a little bit of time, sorry about that. But it's not complicated prep stuff, it's just a lot of single chains. So now we have this portion up here, we want that ready to go, her hair, the eyes, cheeks, all that good stuff, and then we'll get started. So we work from the head down, you want your hair color, and we're going to start in the center of the loom, which is right around the seventh pin up in the middle here, make a starburst. Everything is double banded, so two bands, and it's from the center pin, go out to the six pins around doesn't really matter where you start. Push down. Center gets a cap band. It's two bands wrapped around three times. So one, two, and three. Then you'll take your hook, go in through that center cap band, grab the top two bands wherever they are, Pull them up through and back towards themselves. And then you'll do that all the way around the six pins. Like that. Push them down. Then we'll do a row around the outside with the two bands. 
And we do increase, so if you want, if you're not familiar how to do that, then kind of start right here where I did and go around. Like that. And then we flip the bottom four bands up over the top of the pin towards the inside. Push everything down. And now we want to increase. So I'm going to start over here on the right side. On this top pin, I can grab the top two bands and pull them up to the pin above. This lower pin, I have to pick up all four bands, bring them down a pin, and bring the top two back. Then we'll go over to the left side. Top pin, you need to grab all four bands, bring them up a pin, bring the top two back to the pin they were on. Lower one on the left, pick up the top two, bring them down. Now this bottom pin, grab the top two bands, Pick them up. They should be coming from the left. So we're going to take them over to the left. And then the other two will go over to the right. Then we'll go up to the top center. Pick up the top two bands. Coming from the left. So we'll take them to the left. Other two bands will go to the right. So now you should have two bands on 12 pins total. Six pins on each side. So now we're going to do a row around, but we're going to attach our ponytail when we get over here. So I'll start with two bands, go all the way, almost all the way around. I had to pause a little bit ago and go have my hubby turn off the TV. I guess you can't sleep. So we get to right here. We will put on our ponytail to go find that. Find those two bands that you pulled through. Just go ahead and put that on the loom right here. Like that. And then two bands in the next two spots. And I can't have the TV on in case they play songs. So like this. And then we'll flip over the bottom two bands on every pin in case they play songs that the video recorder picks up because then I can get copyright violations, which is not good. I don't want any ever. So I was like, what you doing? He's like, just watching TV. I'm like, yeah, I'm recording. He's like, oh, I'm like, yeah. It's like, all right. <laughs> so even my hubby is all about helping you guys get some designs. All right, so now her big ponytail is going to be kind of in the way here. So I'm just going to take a band. Just kind of pull it out and tie it off towards the end. So it's kind of more like just one big snake thing. Said a bunch of little ones like that. So now once we're here, we're going to attach, start attaching our piece here for kind of the wig portion. So to do that, I'm going to turn my loom so the ponytail is towards me. And then we have our cap portion or however, whatever you want to call it here. Um, and we're going to start attaching this. So first what we're going to do is I'm just going to take this stretch open that center trying to keep my longest two towards or away from me I'm going to wrap it around the ponytail put it through that center pull it down like that I know it's looking all kinds of weird so now we're going to start putting some of these on. So we'll start with the two that are the longest, the five chain ones. And what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to hold them close to the end here. 
and then take off my tie bands. If you're not comfortable or you're afraid you're going to lose some of them, you can stick your hook through like that too, making sure you get through the right part of the loop there. Stick your hook through, take off your tie bands. It's like holding it's easier, I think. Come off. Not that tight. Alright. Those two are off. Then I'm going to pull through two bands. And this is going to go right on that center spot here on the far side away from us. So now we kind of have our anchor point so the rest should be a little bit easier to do now. So we'll fill up the other ones here that we need to fill up first before we go to the rest of the portion here. So now I just want to take one of these bands, take off the tie, Pull through two bands. Put that on the next spot over on the left. And then we'll come to the right and grab the next one. And make sure you're always grabbing the next one over around the center cap band here. So I'll grab this one, take off my tie. And remember, if these fall apart, not a big deal. Just start it back up from that cap band and chain your four like you did before. And this one will go on the right. So I should still have the two left from the, the dark green in my case. So we're going to fill up these next two spots with those. through the two bands, so right there, and we'll do the other or last one of this four, pull through the two bands, try that again. Like that. So now we have those. There's two in the middle, and then there's one on the four on the outside. So what we're going to do now is go around the rest of our row here with two bands. bottom here. So like that. They have a ponytail pulled up through. Row around these five connected. Then we'll flip the bottom four. All the way around. everything down. And hook some of this towards the center. Like that. So all we want to do is puff the center four pins on the right side with our face color. So you want those bands. That's two bands. You take your hook, second pin down here, take your hook through the bands on the pin, 
hook those two bands that I'm holding, pull them up through, I'm trying not to twist them, pull them up through, both ends on, take the bands off the pin, and then the ones that are on your hook, your skin color, are going to go back onto the pin. And you do that for the next three down here. Pull up, both ends on, take the bands off the pin, replace. Put it up. So now we're going to do our row round, and this one's going to include some transition bands. Transition bands are when you take two bands that are different colors, you put them together. In this case, I'm going to put the skin tone on top of the other, the hair one. I'm going to grab the hair one through the skin one uh, from the top, and then I'll grab the skin one through the hair one on the bottom, and just kind of fold them. So now I have a half and half band. So you can do this, or you can do that on the loom. It's whatever color you need. And the other color that you need, right on top of each other. doesn't really matter what order they're in. But you go through the top one, grab the bottom one, pull it up through, back towards itself. Like that. And you go in through that little spot right there and pull the other one back towards itself. And then you have the same thing of a half and half band. So what we want to do now is first turn the loom, go onto your little hair piece here, find the next ones down in that section. So there's three kind of in this next little section portion here. So find the one that is closest to the ones we've already attached. I'm going to take off the tie band. And I'm just going to actually just stretch it over and put it on this pin. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Take off my tie band, stretch it over onto this pin right here. Now we're going to put on our transition bands that we've made. I'm going to pick it up. This one is going to go with the brown towards me and the face towards the inside. So once you have that on, you can flip over. So let's kind of pull this out either with your fingers and flip it over until it's in the center of this. Or you can use your hook. Just grab that hair band, pull it over into the center. We'll do the same thing on the other end. It's just opposite. The skin color will be towards me. Hair color will be away from me. And then we just bring that hair band up over the top into the center. So then once we have that, we'll fill up the other spaces that we need to here. So skin tone through the center portion right here. And then the rest of this, all the way around, is going to be the hair. Whoa. You get that bottom one. So like that. Flip the bottom four all the way around. If 
feel bad for making him turn off the TV, but... <laughs> Must record. Alright. So now we have that. Push everything down. Then what I would do right now is, again, pull this stuff towards the center. Maybe even grab that cap band and pull it up off that middle pin underneath. Pull that up so it's not stuck. So we just want to make sure that kind of underneath portion grows up with us as we go around. So once you've done that, we're going to puff out these corners now with our skin color. We'll need our two bands for skin. Put them in, pull them up. There's that one and this one down here. So now the whole front side is skin tone bands on the pins and the whole back side is the hair bands. So this is going to be an eye row and once again we're going to start by putting on our little hair pieces first. So I'll start over here on the right side. I'm going to unhook the next one down. Pull out the holding band. I'll bring it over here to this pin. And go on the other side, find the next one down. Pull out the holding band. Untwist that one a little bit. And put it onto this pin. So there's on the pin right now. Then we'll do our transition bands that are going to go now on the ends here. So make a transition band. It's going to be hair towards the left and skin towards the front. So I'll put that one on then I'll flip over the hair so I don't forget to do it later. The one on the other end. So now we'll start right here and it'll be skin tone. Next spot is going to be an eye. So you want to put your eyes on if you haven't. When I first started putting tutorials out, I was using buttons to close my bracelets because I wanted a more finished look. And in one of them, the button had hit the loom in such a way that it made this noise that apparently was so similar to this Swedish rock band song. Next spot will be a two bands. The next spot is the other eye. That after I uploaded it, I got a, a copyright claim on it where um, I was like, uh, no. So because they give you the proof of where they're claiming it from and so I'm like, no, 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 no. So of course I can test it because it's like, it is nothing like what you're saying here. It's kind of humorous. So like that on the front side and then on the back side, we're just going to put the hair bands all the way down. It's kind of humorous except for the fact that I, after I contested it, they have up to 30 days to um, respond and say whether or not they agree that I'm contesting or um, they have to fight me more or something. I don't know. So like that, we have our hair tendrils on the end, face with the eyes on the front, hair on the back. Then we'll flip the bottom four. And it was like after, after 30 days if they didn't respond, then I got my video back and there was no copyright claim or whatever. So of course, 
instead of that, them actually investigating it and finding out if there was something wrong with it or if there was actually a true claim they didn't do anything for the whole 30 days so I had to wait and wait to put my video out and then by the time I put my by the time the claim went away somebody had also already made that bracelet and put a video out for it and so I was like oh that stinks <laughs> so it's like yeah that was not fun and all because a button hit the loom all right push everything down again kind of get under there pull up the under layer of hair and we'll find our next ones they should still be they'll be the last ones of our portion here so kind of get those ready we're going to puff out our corners here with our skin tone so we're coming around the back side here I really didn't get it. It was like this power metal song too. It's like, yeah, my little noise makes has something similar to that. Not sure I see it. So once you have that, then we're going to put on our hair. And we'll just do the ones for where we have the transition bands because those ones are kind of a pain if you couldn't actually pull a transition band through. So again, pull out the next one around. And I can put it back on that same corner as before. Next one. Same corner. Like that. So we puffed, put on the hair bands. Then we need a transition band right here. skin tone towards the outside, hair towards the inside, and then flip over the hair band. And we'll do the other one up here. Flip over the hair band. So now what we'll do is we'll come around and we'll do the front portion here. So it'll be skin tone. Ah. Hi kitty. You need to go down. <laughs> Guess she wanted to visit for a second. Then skin tone. And then we'll need our cheeks. So the cheek is in the next spot. And then two bands. And then the next cheek. And then two bands. And I put that on the wrong way. Sorry, so that means that you probably did too. Or you're laughing at me going, what are you doing there? I need to rotate this so the skin tone is on the outside. doing so well. Hair towards the inside. There we go. Now flip over the hair. Much better. Now the last two bands for skin tone. So you should still have three little tendrils in the back here, and they are going to go on these last three spaces. So again, I'm just going to take off the tie band, find the end here with my hook, pull through two bands, and that'll go in the loom here on the left. 
find the next one over. And this one's going to go in the middle. Put my hook through. Two bands. This one's in here. And our last one. Hook through, pull through two bands, and uh, so it should look like this with our transition bands with the skin tone towards the outside. Hair, everything's attached now. And then we have our cheeks in the front. And then we can go ahead and flip over the bottom four. I don't know if I could just get that furnace to be quiet while I'm recording. I suppose I could turn the heat way down, but that doesn't seem like a very nice thing to do. And I checked, it's really only in this room. It's like the sound carries just far enough through the vent from the fan to get into this room and nowhere else. <laughs> it annoys me so much. I'm just kind of pulling up some of that center stuff with my hook here. All right, push everything down. Now we need to put on our mouth. So you want your mouth bands. Whatever color you want that to be. And turn so I have the face away from me. Put the band on my hook, double it, and then pull it off and hold it doubled. And on the, by the left eye here, left cheek, I'll put my hook through the bands on the pin, hook that doubled mouth band, pull it up through and up over the top of the pin, then pull it down so it's wrapped around the pin, still hanging on to it. I'll go through the bands on the right pin, hook that mouth band, pull it up through, up over the top of the pin, pull it down. So now I'm wrapped around two pins. And then once it's there, I'll take it and flip it all up over the two pins. So it looks like that kind of hard to see like that. Push those down again and then we want to go into the back and puff out the remaining of the hair bands. So we're all done with the hair. Yay! I really hope that wasn't too confusing. I tried to make it simplified but but still needs but yet complicated. So these last four pins will puff out with our skin tone. Pull those bands up, pull the other ones off the pin, and replace them. But we're almost done with our head. I'm not sure how long it took us, but totally worth it. I really like these figures. They're kind of they're unique and I see a lot of play happening with them. And there's so many Rainbow Loom things that have been made before that are tiny that could be used with them for like food and flowers and all kinds of stuff. Furniture, I think I've seen furniture. So now everything is puffed out with skin tone on the pins. Make yourself a regular old house. So we're going to do a row around with the skin tone. I wish it was easier to make a square on the loom using this technique. If I had, if I used a, 
bigger loom, I think I could do it a lot easier, but a lot of times three rows is could be a little tough. So roll all the way around with skin tone. Flip the bottom four. I've done a few things that are square, but they take so, a lot of finagling at the end. I know it's kind of discouraging for some people. I don't like to discourage. Push down. And then we're going to do another little half row right here in the front. Skin tone bands starting here and ending here. So two bands here, here, and here. Then we're going to flip the bottom four on these middle two pins. And then on the ends here, you're going to find the bottom two bands and flip those over. So then once you are there, we're going to reduce. So I'm going to take all this stuff and tuck it in towards the center. Kind of pull up on our head. Try to make sure it's all off the loom underneath. Starting on this pin right here, you'll pick up the top two bands and you'll see where they're coming from and then take them to the opposite pin. And then the other bands that are on that pin, you'll bring them to the other pin so they go kind of spread out. Then we'll come up to the next pin up here, pick up the top two bands, see where they're coming from. Mine are coming from above, so they'll go below. And then the other two will go above. Then we'll go to the next pin up. These two are going to be coming from below, so they'll go above and the other two will go below. And then we'll come over to the other side here on the top. Grab the top two, pick them up. They're coming from below, so they're gonna come over to the other side. And the other two will come below. Next pin down, top two coming from below. So they're gonna take them above. Other two will go below. Next one down, grab the top two, they're coming from below, so they'll go above. There's usually a pattern all the way around, so once you kind of start doing it one way, it'll work out that way. Just over here, we added that little half row, so there was a little change. And you want to push everything down. And we're going to do a row around, and there's kind of long stretches between them. Just kind of a long stretch over here. Long stretch here and here. Come back around. Down the back side. Like that. And then we're going to be flipping the bottom eight bands. So you'll be flipping the four from the reducing and then the four from the row before. And you'll do that on every pin. And depending on how tight your bands are, you can do a couple of them at a time or all of them. Just kind of depends what's easier. I have a lot of ideas for these little girls. There's my youngest two have actually started playing with Barbies and I managed to find a Barbie house. So they're all, all excited about that and they organize the furniture and then they argue with each other with where it's gonna go and no, there. So once you're there, we're on six pins and we are ready to take her off the loom. So I'm gonna start with one of the far corners out here, 
put my hook through, pull it off, and then just work my way around. Stay close to your loom so you can get them all off. kind of give it a little stretch. Then I'll take two bands, pull them through everything on my hook. Both ends back on. Pull through. Make that slip knot. Then we'll hide our tail. And then, I'm going to find the top here, find that center cap band underneath, and make sure that it's all kind of positioned correctly. So I'm going to grab our head, I'm trying to get that center piece to pull out. It's buried underneath of the hair, the extra hair that we added for kind of looks and texture, but if it's not... Um, Sometimes it likes to dent in, so if it's not pulled up straight, then her head kind of has a, a different, not the rounder appearance we're going for, or I was going for. So you have to kind of get in there and find that. And you should be able to take her face, or her head, and just kind of squish it flat, and then kind of do a stretch, and then kind of just round it out a little bit. So now, her hair. All of this should be pretty good up here. Um, if you have any, they're kind of overlapping or they stick out. Um, generally, it's just because you need to move them, kind of reposition them where they are on the cat band in the middle there. The two right here in front are supposed to be longer, so they kind of give a little pop to the, kind of like when you pull your hair back and the side goes tight and then the the hair kind of I don't know personal preference maybe I guess it's like that um, you also may have a little bit of these bands right here that poke out you just have to go in and pull them back in it's from when we reduced they were stretched tight and then when we closed it off they kind of got trapped funny so you just have to go in there and grab them and pull them back inside generally they're not too bad. I think my bands that I'm using right here are contributing to that factor because they are kind of sticky. Just grab them, hide them back in there, and you can wait till the very end after you're all done with the body and all that stuff. So, but this is our head, kind of bare bones with the, I the little tie on here. Still, I'll leave it on there for now. So we're still gonna make the body, but so like this. Here I added a little hair piece. You can add like little flowers. Um, you can do lots of different things with a little ponytail. You can braid it, like I did the six ones, so I can braid it this time. Um, lots of different options. So now, if you're still ready, you might want to take a break for a few minutes and then come back and I'll show you how to make this particular body. Get some of the other stuff out of the way. So you need your loom wrong end towards you. And for the body, I'm going to squish the face. And if you think when we close this off, there's kind of like a little starburst on that bottom portion. So I'm going to take my hook, go through. And if you see the face is right here, hook is going from front to back or back to front, either way. You can remove it around the loom as you need to once it's on there. So put on, then I'll take I'm actually going to take three bands, pull them through, put both ends on my hook, and then I'm going to come across to the other side, find that next little kind of portion over here, 
that would be across from the one we just went through. So I hook through there, and I'm going to pull through three more bands. So in doing that, I'll put those on my hook. Now I'm going to turn the loom. So that first section of six bands is going to go on the loom in the center area. And then the other section will go right next to it. This is probably the hardest part of getting it on the loom. But once you have it on like this, so wrong end of the loom towards you, head is facing up. What I'll do is grab the top three bands, pull them across, do that on both pins, like that. And then once you're there, go ahead and just kind of slide the head up over into the center. Like that. Push those down. And we're going to do a row around. I really need to order more bands so I'm going to make more people. <laughs> Two bands with the row around. And this is the skin tone because she has kind of the open shirt neckline thing so you want more of the t-shirt, you can go follow the happy boy body that I just did. So roll around, and then you'll flip the bottom three up over the top. Her head's a little bit bigger with all the hair, so just giving it a little bit more support. With the three bands instead of the normal two. Like that. And then push down. So now we want to increase. So this top pin up here, I'm going to pick up the top two bands and bring them towards the center. And then we'll go to the other end. Over here on the bottom left, I'll pick up all four bands, bring them to the center, and then bring the top two back to the pin that they were on. So you should be on six pins now, like that. Push that all down. So now we're going to make the arms. So up here, we're going to make a little three pin. It's two bands still. So I skipped a pin, or skipped a little like arrow almost. Now I'll make my own little arrow right there and then the other one goes up the center so like that then our center pin will get a cap band two bands wrapped around the three times so one two and three so once you have that one we'll go down and make the exact same one down here so we keep track of where we are so again we skip that little arrow we make our own little arrow. It's opposite from the way we did before. And then two down. And center cap band again. Like that. So once you're there, you'll go in through the cap band on each one, grab the top two bands wherever they are, and pull them back towards themselves. And you'll do that all the way around. Push it down when you're done. Do that on both sides. Push that down. And then we're going to do four rows around the outside here on each one. So I'll just do them each at, at the same time, I guess. So the so two bands go around each one. The same thing up here.
like that. Flip the bottom four. Push down. Our second row all the way around. These designs, they grow down, they don't grow up like we normally have them, or I normally have them do. So there's our second row. Flip the bottom four. So just keep pushing everything down. It gets a little squishy on the fourth row, but not too bad. And push down. Do our third row. Like that. Flip the bottom four. Sorry this tutorial is taking so long. I didn't think it would be as long as it is. Not totally sure because I had to stop the video like I said how long I had filmed before but I know it's a long one. So push down and then we'll do our fourth row all the way around. I wish you could feel the texture of these bands. It's kind of a weird silky feeling, but it's not quite. It still has like a stickiness to it. It's so weird. But like I said, they work well for these kinds of growing up designs and waste not, want not. So like that. Flip the bottom four. And plus, I know that Rainbow Loom supposedly came out with the skin tone bands recently. They hadn't had them before. And I really, really disliked sorting them out of the, the mixed bags. Because it's so hard to tell the difference between a couple of the colors. That takes like an hour. And that's an hour I could be making something. So now we have this. We have our four rows done. So what we're going to do, we'll start down here. I'm going to pick up the four bands that are on this pin lift them up and pull them straight down to the corner up here then do the same thing on the other side it might be a bit of a stretch so hold your hook close to the metal portion when you're doing that stretching it way up there and then if you make sure this kind of stays behind this pin it'll be a little bit easier for the next portion I'm going to hook it from the bottom lift it up and then rotate my hook over to the center. Make sure you get all the bands on the pin. And then just leave it like that. I'm going to do the same thing up here. Bring the sides down. Make sure it stays behind that pin. Bring the other side. Stay behind that pin. Pick up that center from the bottom, rotate your hook over, and put it on the center. And you push those all down. And then once we have that, we are going to do a row all the way around. It's a good thing we're almost done with this color. Let's find some more. Two bands all the way around the six pins right around the head. Anyways, Rainbow Loom had just come out with the skin tone bands before Christmas and I hadn't had a chance to order before, before they closed their web store, so. so like that. So now when we flip, starting up here at the top for this one, 
we'll go ahead and start on the side here. I'm going to flip over the armbands over the top of the pin. And then there'll be two bands to flip on this one. Then we'll come over to the back side, get the armband up and over. Stay on the pin. There you go. And then there'll be four on this one to flip over the top. So we have the sides. And then for the center, you want to go in through that little triangle right there with your hook. Grab those two bands that are under there around the pin. Pull them up through that center and then up over the top of the pin. And then push it down. Like that. I'll go to the other side and do the same thing. Flip over the side arm. This one has four bands to flip over. Flip over the other side arm. This one has two bands to flip over. And then again for the center, go in through that little triangle area here. Grab those two bands, pull them up through and up over the top of the pin. And then push that all down. And push all the pins down. And then, once you're there, we're going to take the arms, slide them up off the pin. And if you pull it away from you, you kind of create that little space there, the little triangle. Create that, and then slide it up over the top of the pin. So the arm will be right next to the head. And you do that on both sides. Pull it up, create that space, slide it up over the top to like that. Push everything down. And now we're ready to puff out into her t-shirt color, her camisole. So whatever color you want for that. We're done with the skin tone. She's going to get another white shirt, I guess. So we're going to puff all these out. So it's two bands. Take your hook, go through the bands that are on the pin, hook the bands you want to bring up, pull them up, both ends on, pull the bands off the pin, and replace them with what's on your hook. And you'll do that all the way around. And then for the center ones, I usually drop the bands on the pin, kind of over, take my hook, go through, hook them, bring them up, and then do the replacing. It's a little easier to get in there then. So everything's puffed with my shirt color. So this next row, we can add the little straps if you want to. You don't have to, um, otherwise it's just kind of a transition. And I, the only reason why I'd say you don't have to is that um, if I do some removable like dresses and whatnot, maybe you don't want the straps there. But I mean, I'm going to put them on and then if you change your mind later, you can always just cut them out because they are kind of extra on there. So just kind of be a little heads up there. So straps. I'm going to put these two bands on the pin right here and then I'm going to take another band just kind of hold it back there grab my 
hook underneath them. I'm just going to bring it over to this pin for a minute. And I'll take the part that I'm holding, bring it over to that pin. We only have to do this weird part in the beginning. Hooking on the back is much simpler. So you have these two bands right on top of each other. We want to just kind of make a nice piece, I guess. So I'm going to take my hook, go through the top one, grab the bottom one, pull it up through. And I'll grab that piece with my finger, pop that off. I mean, we're just making that. So if you can make that in a little bit simpler form, go right ahead, however you want to do that. But this way, I just know that it works. So the next spot is two bands. And the next spot will be another strap. So it'll be two bands. And then you can kind of do your little rigmarole, however you want to. So I just drop the drop down the pin this time, go under, hook it, pull it up and over, go through the top. Grab the bottom, pull it up, and again, a little strap. I don't want to pull too tight, but I don't want to, <laughs> I want it to be loose. So then for this back portion, I'm going to kind of squish her head over. Put my hook through the strap on this side, take two bands, pull them through. Bring them to the back here. That's going to be on the center pin and then the back pin. My head likes to get in my way, but. So, like that. Goes up over the arm, catches in the back. I'm going to put two bands here. And then we need to do the other strap. So through the strap, take two bands, pull them through, and then around the shoulder and put them on. So like that. And then we'll flip the bottom four all the way around. everything down. I'll try not to pull on her head, but so like that. Then we're going to do three more rows all the way around just normally with our shirt color or camisole. One row, flip the bottom four. Yeah, but the kids are playing with the Barbies, and um, I actually had found, like I said, the the Barbie house. It's a big wooden one that's taller than they are, and um, I found it on Craigslist actually. And it was that, and then there's like a camper and a little Barbie car and a little bicycle and like all this crazy stuff that they probably didn't need, but it was a very good price for all of it, so I was like, this is awesome. We do our next row all the way around. Do two. And so I took 
took everything home. Sanitized it. And they've been playing with it like crazy. And they bring their Shopkins in there. and Just like that. Flip the bottom four. These little baskets for the storage. and It's pretty cute actually. They've been flushing or pretending to flush the Shopkins down the pretend toilet that came with it. It's pretty adorable actually. Bye bye. And then one more row all the way around. And really they only like playing with the Barbies in the beginning because they have the Elsa and Anna Barbie dolls that sing when you press them, so they're constantly doing that. Flip the bottom four. Pull up, grab the body, and pull up. And now, we're going to transition into the pants now. So for the, you can have a belt or you can just make it like the same color as the pants. It's up to you. So it's kind of, we still need to put them on there. But um, you can either have a, a different color or you can use the same color as the pants. So, you want to take six bands that you're going to use for either your belt or the, your pants color. Take them, put them on your hook wrap them around once and then just slide them down out of the way. Like that. So we're going to puff out all of these now with the pants color. Done with white. Well, almost. So pants. So you put your hook in, pull up your bands to puff them like usual, both ends on, and then before you put the pants bands back onto the pin, you'll slide down your belt or the top of your pair of pants, and then replace it. We'll do that all the way around, pull up the pants, take the shirt off the pin, slide down your belt. And then put the pants back on the pin. Grayson's been wanting to do some yummy nummy videos again. And I'm trying to figure out how to get him to do or how to do them because a lot of the ones that are left involve cooking or something in the microwave and I know they can be kind of hot when they come out, so I like him being able to do the whole thing, but I don't want him to burn himself either, so we'll have to see how we'll figure that out. So we got some new cute ones, so All are puffed, and we have either the belt or the top of the pants. And then we want to do two rows all the way around in the pants color. We're getting there. She's totally awesome, so she's totally worth it. So. Flip your bottom four. I wonder if I should be making like just head videos and then 
body videos. Hmm. What do you think about that? Just make head videos and body videos. If that was one. Is there a second one all the way around? If that would be easier. Or not as daunting. Because I don't know how long this one's going to be. I'm sure well over an hour. Probably an hour and a half. Maybe two even. I don't know. Like that. Flip your bottom four. So I divided it up or does it really matter? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Because that would be helpful. I'm used to just sitting down, doing one, and that's all. So once we get to here, we need to kind of split for the legs. And how we do that is these three pins over here are going to be a leg. These three pins over here are going to be a leg. So we're going to first take two bands, go on the outside portion out here. Then we'll do that on the other side. Like that. And then you're going to take your hook and have it so that your hook is pointed, so that the hook point is up. Go on your loom, come through the other side, and it fits. It's just you might have to lift it up a little bit so it doesn't hit these little bumps on the bottom of the pin. Kind of lift it up. So you come out the other side like that. And you want to hook two bands of your pants color on there. And then it's kind of a tug of war between pulling tight on one hand and then pulling with the hook on the other one. But we just keep it out of the way. Pull through. And as I get closer with my left hand over here, I'll just put it up on the top of the pin. And then I'll keep pulling with my right one with the hook and put those on the other side. So now there's a band underneath, or two bands that went underneath for this leg on the that side. Then we do the same thing on the other side. Hook up. Hook the bands. I gotta turn it away. Hook the bands, pull through. Put them on the pin over here on the left. And keep pulling with the hook. Put them on on the other side. So once you have those through, you'll go around and flip the bottom four bands. Make sure that you get the four, the right four, because the band that comes up from the center, it likes to kind of mix in with the ones down here on the pin, and we obviously don't want that. So um, make sure that that one is out of the way and not being flipped. Otherwise it makes these kind of goofy bumps on the legs. You still get legs, it's just they kind of have little goofy bumps on them. Alright, so that's one row. Push it down. Kind of pull up that center portion. And we'll do, we need to do two more rows just like that. So I'm going to put it on my outside leg with the two bands. Pull up my center bands. Also, I'm wondering if I should just make a doll that is entirely like one color body wise, so that if there are removable clothes and things, that, that would be easier. Because there are some things you wouldn't do if you just had all one color. So like that, flip the bottom four. So let me know if you're interested in something like that as well. Just tell me everything. Need your opinions. down and then pull up the center then we'll do 
one more row all the way around with our pants color. The outside of the pants first. And bring up our center ones. Then flip our bottom four. Whip my hair. Just reminded me of that. All right, push it down. Pull up the center. Then we're going to do one more row all the way around on each leg with whatever color you want the shoe to be. I'm going to give her white shoes, but it's the exact same as we have been doing, it's just we're switching color. So outside. And bring up on the inside. At the bottom four. Push everything down, pull up the legs. hooking some of the bands there in the center. And we're ready to take this off the loom. I would actually use the pants color to tie it off with because you pull the tie band up into the leg to hide it. So, starting up here, I want to start on a side, go through, grab the bands, go around, staying close to my loom. I'll take the two bands, pull them through everything, make my slip knot. I'm just kind of tying it off for now, kind of roughly. And then we'll go get the other side. Tie it off. Now we do a little bit of work here. So first let's hide our tie, tie bands. So come up through the leg on the inside. Grab those bands you used to tie it off with. Pull them down into the pants. And as you're doing that, flatten out the bottom portion. So it ends up so that the shoe is kind of the only thing you see when it's standing up. Push, push. Same thing on the other side. Up through the leg, grab the tie bands, pull them in. Try not to hook everything else. And I lost it. There we go. Push, push. Sometimes the bands need a little help going where they're supposed to.
like that. Then around the waist, you'll have to kind of bring them together because of the stretching that we did with the increasing. So I'm just taking my hook, going in through the pants, at those little loops there, pulling them up. And we do the same thing with the shirt, only pulling it down. Bring those two sections together. And then for the belt, a lot of times if I'm just pushing on it, the bands will go in to the position that they need to. You might have to take your hook in and rotate some or adjust them, but generally they, with just pushing on them from the outside, they go where they need to go. And then up here where we did the puffing here, we need to pull those together. So where the strap is, pull that up, and that little bump in the middle there, pull that one up, go around the back, do the same thing. Like that. And now, in the arm, I'm going to move the strap here. In the arm, maybe. Stay out of the way. You have the ones right up here in the shoulder underneath that strap. So we want to adjust a couple of these because it'll help reduce some of this bulk right here from the arm strap. So the very top triangle, I can keep the strap out of the way to show you better. You'll grab that one and you want to pull on that You go up a little higher too. That strap's really in the way. There we go. To go way up there. Grab that one. Pull on that, those bands. Because you're also creating a shoulder for her as well when you do that. And if you kind of come down a little bit more into the next bump. Got your shoulder. So you can see the difference between the two sides there. So it's just a little bit of adjusting up in that area to fix it. So like that. Then you'll adjust the, the neck the same way. If you have any bands that need to be tucked in that we left from before, you can do those. Um, a lot of it's just the, like the reducing that gives tension, or if we do the puffing that gives tension. Some of the bands want to kind of do their own thing. And hopefully yours isn't like mine necessarily. Um, and that the bands are sticky. So then there, you definitely get a few more spots that you want to fix than you would otherwise. Because so I've used other bands and it's a lot of times it's a similar body and definitely wasn't too many um, bumps to worry about before. So. so squish, squish. And the neck, if you need to tighten it up, you go in there in that kind of first row up here, go ahead and pull on those. like that. Fix her chin a little bit. That's a little bit more adjusting to do in the chest area particularly. But So once you get to here, um, don't forget about all the other options that you can do. Giving her bracelets, giving, you know, different hair ties for her ponytail. You can use flowers. Take out this. So 
I mean, your hair can just stay like this too, where you can't see the hair tie, or you can add one. This is just a bunch of wrap bands. Like, not that color. Just a bunch of bands wrapped a couple times. ugly. Bunch of bands. Now I'll take a double band. Pull it through everything. A single band. Pull that through. And this portion is what will go over her little ponytail. It's like that. Or you could tie it in up a little further, make it like a little flower. I mean, Lots of totally cute ideas. We'll fix it later. It looked perfect on Instagram. <laughs> but I hope that you guys like these and like the idea and hopefully come up with some good options for different things for you guys. Um, I know that a lot of people want different styles, different ideas, and things like that. And hopefully I'll be able to get all of those for you because I know not everybody wants a ponytail or long hair or you know things like that. So, But I think these are super cute. A good start and I will definitely have some more versions for you before too long. I'll do my best to get them out as quickly as possible. It's obviously a lot of work and hopefully the next tutorials won't be quite as long for these guys. Um, and like I said, let me know things like maybe you just want me to make the heads or make um, make the body separate or split tutorials or just something like that. Um, I know this is a longer one but um, if you do like it all in the same spot then you can kind of mark your time. Um, just let me know what works for you. But thank you guys so much. I definitely appreciate you watching. I hope that you enjoy these. And don't forget to share them with me on my Instagram, which is at Crafting Fantastic, or my Facebook, which is Feelings with Your Crafting Fantastic. They both should find me. And then, of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you know when I come out with new things. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. You can hang out with the boys. Yeah. Be the annoying little brother. Hey, wanna play? Wanna play? Come on. My friends, leave me alone. Fine. Hang out over here. Bye.